This video still review for geometry two. Angle W and angle K are congruent. Angle WVX and angle KXV are congruent. Side VX and side XV are congruent because of reflexive properties. Therefore, triangle WVX and a triangle KXV are congruent because of angle angle side angle angle side then the side XK and the side VW are congruent because CP CTC, which means uh, corresponding parts of a congruent triangle are congruent. For number 20, what are the possible lengths of the third side of a triangle with uh, the other two sides lengths of uh, 9 and uh, 17? How to find the range of uh, the third side? You will make a difference between these two. That's 17 minus 9 equals to 8. So put the 8 over here. Then do the sum of these two numbers. 9 plus 17 equals 26. So 26. That's the rule. Difference less than third side less than the sum. For 21, solve for question mark why do this kind of question is about the ratio for these uh, three parallel lines the ratio of uh, corresponding parts are equal to each other therefore for 77 the corresponding size will be 30 plus uh, 25 that's 55 Therefore, you go 77 over 55 equals question mark over 30. Because for question mark and a 30, they are corresponding side. Then we do cross multiply. Question mark equals 77 times 30 over 55. So we put into a calculator, you will get 42. For number 22, are the polygons similar? If so, what is the skill factor? When we talk about the similar polygons, means uh, angle, corresponding angle equal to each other, and also the ratio of uh, corresponding sides are the same. So we will check a ratio of corresponding side first. We have 40 over 24. This and this one. Then you have 29 over 18. Like these two. But they are not equal to each other. Therefore, they are not similar. For the diagram below, P is the in center. In center means uh, the point uh, where three angle bisector meet. So these two equal to each other, these two equal, and uh, these two equal to each other. If angle TFP equals 55, it's here. Angle HJP equals 20, it's here. What's the angle THP? Let's label as a X. Because 
this is a 20 degree, then this is a 20 degree. This will be 55. I can see this angle is a 2x. For this triangle FHG, we got 55 plus 55 plus 20 plus 20 plus uh, 2x equals 180 degree. And I can solve this uh, x. Combine like terms. This 4, you will get the 150 degree plus 2x equals 180 degree. So you subtract uh, 150, you will get 2x equals to 30. Therefore, x equals uh, 15 degree. If HP equals uh, 13, TH equals uh, 12, find SP. Since P is in center, which means uh, these uh, three will be equal to each other. Therefore, as long as I can get the TP, since TP equals SP, then I can get the SP. For TP, we know this is a Pythagorean theorem, so TP equals square root 13 square minus 12 square equals 5. Therefore, SP equals 5. For 25, find the value of for x. Since for these two triangles, they are congruent to each other. Therefore, the corresponding parts of congruent triangle are congruent, which means 4x plus 3 equals 8x minus 9. So I minus 4x. Then you need to add 9 both sides. You will get 4x equals 12. Divided by 4, you will get the x equals 3. G is the centroid of a triangle ABC. AD equals 8. AG equals 10. CD equals 18. Find the length of the segment. Since G is a centroid, which means G is the point where the three median of a triangle meet. Here is the theorem for centroid. The length of the segment from the vertex to centroid is twice the length of a segment from the centroid to the midpoint. Therefore, we know this is a median point, D, E, and F. Therefore, BD equals DA is a 8. For AB, that will be 16. For EG will be half of this 10, that's 5. And AE equals 15. For CG, we know CD equals 18. Therefore, this will be 6. And here is 12. CG will be 12. DG will be 6. Because for DG, equals uh, one-third uh, of uh, DC. And uh, GC equals 2 over 3 times uh, DC. Therefore, you do 1 over 3 times uh, 18. That's equals 6. 
two over three times eighteen. That's how you get the twelve. For number twenty-seven, so for x and y, we know this is a straight angle, one eighty degree. Therefore, twenty-eight x minus seven plus twenty-four x plus eighteen. Equals one eighty. First of all, combine like terms. You got the fifty two x. This two, that's plus eleven equals one eighty. Then we minus eleven both sides. You will get a fifty two x equals one sixty nine. Then we divide it by fifty two. Both sides, you will get the x equals three point twenty five. Since uh, this angle and uh, this angle they are vertical angle, so they equal to each other. Therefore, twenty four times three point twenty five plus eighteen. I plug in, get the angle. That equals ninety six. In other words, for this one, we have to set up equals ninety six. Therefore, we got the twelve y plus thirty equals ninety six. We subtract thirty both sides. You get the twelve y equals six six sixty six. Then we divide by twelve. You got the y equals five point five. Which of the following is true about the circumcenter of a right triangle? The answer will be on the hypotenuse. For this graph, the circle we call the circumcircle. The midpoint of a hypotenuse will be the Center of this、uh, circumcircle, that this angle will be a right angle. Therefore, the circumcenter for a right triangle will be the midpoint、uh, of a hypotenuse. For twenty-nine, if two triangles ABC and DEF are similar triangles, which statement is not correct? We know for a similar triangle, the ratio of corresponding sides、uh, are equal to each other, and、uh, the corresponding angle equal to each other. In other words, we can write down the ratio of corresponding sides, AB over DE equals BC over EF, and equals. C A over F D. Then for angle A equals angle D. Angle B equals angle E. And、uh, angle F equals angle C. Therefore, D is not correct. For thirty, which triangle are similar to? A B C. You have to check、uh, whether the ratio of corresponding sides are equal to each other. We got the A B C here, sixteen, sixteen. Here's eighteen. For triangle D E F, I have eight, eight, nine. So check the ratio of corresponding sides. I have sixteen over eight. Sixteen over eight. I have eighteen over nine. All these three equal to two. Therefore, they are similar triangles. Now check、uh, RST. I have thirty-two, thirty-two. I have thirty-five. Therefore, sixteen over thirty-two. Sixteen over thirty-two. This part eighteen over thirty-five. This is equals to one over two, 
1 over 2, but this one is not equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, they are not similar. DEF is the only similar triangle to ABC. For 31, which of the following statements is always uh, correct? Through any three points not on the same line, there is exactly one plane. That's good. Through any two points, there exists uh, exactly one line. That's right, because two points determine a unique line. When two planes intersect, their intersection is a line. That's true. Therefore, all the above. For 32, in the diagram, AF bisects angle EAG. Find the length of BC, AC, and uh, also the angle BAC. We have angle bisector theorem. If a point uh, is on the bisector of angle, then it's uh, equal distant from the sides of the angle. Since uh, this A is uh, on the angle bisector, then the distance uh, to the sides of this angle will be the same. In other words, I have AD equals AG. Therefore, go back to this diagram. We know CD equals BC. So BC equals CD. That's equals 12. For AC, we already know AB is 16. We're looking for AC. We got to use the Pythagorean theorem that equals square root because AC is a hypotenuse. Therefore, we have 16 square plus 12 square because BC is 12. Then we put into calculator, you will get that's a 20. Measurement of angle BAC. This angle will be half of A. For angle A, we can get by doing 180 degree minus angle E minus angle G. So we plug in 180 degree minus 100 degree minus 35 degree. You got the 45 degree. Therefore, for angle BAC equals one half of a 45 degree. That is 22.5 degree. For 33, in triangle ABC, what's DE? According to mid segment of a triangle theorem, the mid segment will be half of a, the third side. If this is A, this will be 2A. These two equal to each other, and uh, these two equal to each other. And also for mid segment will be parallel to the third side. In other words, DE parallel to BC. And uh, DE equals half of uh, BC. Since D and E are midpoint of the side, therefore AD equals DB, AE equals EC. According to this rule, DE will be half of 34, that is 17. 34. Given that DB is a bisector of a triangle ABC, find the value of X. We know DB is a perpendicular bisector because this is a 90 degree. Here is the rule for perpendicular bisector. 
any points uh, on the perpendicular bisector, then this distance will be equal to each other. In other words, AB equals uh, BC. So we set up 3x plus 8 equals 7x minus 16. This is a linear equation. So isolate the variable on one side. I subtract 7x, then subtract 8. You will get negative 4x equals negative 24. Then you divide it by negative 4. You will get the x equals 6. For 35, determine the value of x using the diagram. If these two sides equal to each other, we know this is an isosceles triangle. That means these two angles are equal to each other. Therefore, this one is a x minus 2. For all angles of a triangle, that's a 180. Therefore, x minus 2 plus x minus 2 plus 4x plus 10 equals 180. Combine like terms, you will get the 6x plus 6 because negative 2, negative 2, positive 10 equals 180. Then need to isolate the variable, you minus 6 both sides. You got the 6x equals 174. Then you divide by 6 both sides, you will get the x equals 29. For 37, since the corresponding angle equal to each other, therefore, these two triangles are similar to each other. The ratio of corresponding sides will be equal to each other. Therefore, 6 over h equals 3 over 11. Therefore, cross multiply, you will get the 66 over 3 equals 22 feet. For 38, we have a triangle ABC and a triangle ADE are similar to each other. Therefore, BC over DE equals AC over AE. BC is 5, DE is H. AC is 6, AE will be 6 plus 12. That's 18. So I have 5 over h equals 6 over 18. Then cross multiply, you will get the h equals 5 times 18 over 6 equals 15 feet. For 39, solve for value of x. We got this angle is a 70. For Corresponding angle are equal to each other, which means uh, these two lines are parallel to each other. Therefore, we can write down the ratio 14 over 6 equals x over 9. Cross multiply. You get the x equals 14 times 9 over 6 equals 21. For number 40, we know PQ is a mid-segment. Therefore, if uh, this is a 7, this is will be 7. Because Q is a midpoint of a TS, since P is a midpoint of a TU, therefore, this will be 16, 16. And the mid segment will be half of uh, this uh, 30. Therefore, it's a uh, 15. So, PQ equals 15. PT equals 16. TQ equals uh, 7.